Hello everyone. I hope everyone's doing good. Staying safe, staying healthy. This is my glue book that I've been working on. And I did some pages on a live feed the other day. Uh, and I've done a little bit more. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I'm up to. And it's just uh, grabbing pages, uh, painty papers, jelly prints using that as backgrounds uh, using magazine images some things I cut out like a fuzzy cut some I just kind of cut around it um, I used on just a couple of pages I, I went in and, and used a marker to kind of outline some things and I even put some um, oil these are oil pastels they're water soluble just to add some color and this one is a jelly print I had like a little window so I cut it out like that you can see the picture behind it okay let me see if I can make a, a little bit more there we go and just here and there and trying to use up all these papers that I have and uh, from here I just kind of just stuck a bunch of papers down as backgrounds this is a picture I had started playing with a long time ago it's just asparagus and peas and I was outlining the asparagus with a marker and I cut some of it and then put it in there and that's all I have so I pulled up some uh, picked up some some um, images that I had let's see I'm just gonna grab one this is a half of a butterfly and this is a sticker so where can I put this half of a butterfly how about right there or right here think right there would be cute yep and it matches the colors you know but the only thing I'm, I'm just kind of being conscious of matching colors and well, let me see this is ah this part right here doesn't go there we go just matching colors and this white spot here needs to be covered up with something don't know yet what I have picture of a cat how's that yeah I'm gonna trim him up a little bit this is something that anyone can do you know it's especially with kids um, I'm using an old book it's an old Reader's Digest that I tore off half the pages off because when you start gluing things down it gets really thick and I'm using two kind of glues a glue stick and a tacky glue for the thicker pages so most magazine pages are, are pretty thin so the glue stick will do there I covered up that white spot now I gotta cover that up Delic delicious nature or maybe not I don't know let's see let me pick something else up oh I got this kitty cat now I'm not gonna fuzzy cut the kitty cat I'm just kind of go just nicely trim around him yeah for this all you need is uh, like a glue stick some school glue if you're working with kids but normally I don't recommend school glues they don't last tend to dry up and your images fall out but it's a great way to distress without having to think too much okay so I got another kitty and 
I could put this kitty right here. And it'll be covering up those letters. See? I'm not going any rhyme or reason. I don't have any plans for this book. It's just to have something to do while I watch TV or listen, listening to music. Or listening to an audiobook. You know, like, oh, wait, here, I have another cat. This is a space cat. Now, he's cute. He would look cute on this page. Yep, another cat. So, it looks like this page is kind of turning into cats. Right? <laughs> it's not on purpose. I just glue and stick where I want. What is this? Something? Oh, it's a piece of glue. Alright. Now, going back and re-watching my live show that I did, um, I noticed that it's it was really grainy and it was hard to hear, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing that many live shows because of that this is something else this is a okay this is a little puzzle book that my mom likes to to do while she watches tv she does a little word puzzles and she also does little doodles on the inside and you know it's just mostly scratchy stuff and but this is something you can use also and I'm going to put this one, let's see, what about here? And really, it's, it's uh, anything that catches your eye. Yep, right there. It doesn't have to be a wonderful image. Just odds and ends. Uh, it could be labels from food. Pamphlets you get in the mail, junk mail, that kind of thing. And let's see, I have, this one doesn't have much. Let me see if I can find another one. Just to add my, oh, there's a cute lady. Mom likes to keep busy, keep her mind working, doing puzzles. And this is a little lady with hearts on her head. I'm going to cut her out. And I cut that flower out I probably shouldn't have. I'm gonna put her right there. You know, with kids, I bet they have a ton of coloring books and they can cut those out and glue. Old books and magazines are pretty easy to get. You can find them at uh, thrift stores, garage sales, uh, family, friends that want to get rid of junk. Yeah. Let's see what else I got. Oh, I have another cat here. Uh, no, it's got more butterflies. And this cat. Well, I was putting the cats over here. No. Where did I have the cats? Oh, right here. I'm going to put him right there. Yeah. I have so many papers that I really, I need to get rid of them, but 
and this is a good way to get rid of them. Oh, there I go bumping the camera. And I'm just gonna flip this over and trim the excess. And then I have these butterflies, which I am not going to fussy cut. I'm just going to kind of cut around them a little bit. If I do have some fuzzy cut items, it's because I did it in advance. That's another thing that can be fun to do while watching TV. Just sit there with a magazine, start cutting and accumulating some more butterfly. I like this big one here. This is actually my first real glue book. Now I've, I've got journals with uh, with collage and paintings and everything together in one thing but with this one I'm just uh, I'm just cutting and gluing and that's all there is to it I'm not trying to make a masterpiece out of it I'm just enjoying the process Okay, put this one right here. So, so far we got a collection of cats and butterflies. Uh, might as well use all these up. This is like my third attempt to making this video. I used my phone to do my videos and it was running out of space so I had to go online and find out how to make up more space so that took a while I was trying to also videotape with a using my headphones like a microphone so the sound would come out better, but it's it's a cord. It's not a cordless, and it just doesn't work. It just starts to pull on the cord. My phone flips and turns, and I'm also been experimenting with different angles of the phone so you could see better when I am like right on top of something. Trying to get you to see more of a, a my view, my point of view. And I'll go put this one down here. And I got one more butterfly. And these are images I've, I've been hoarding for quite some time now. You know for that special big project that I was gonna do that would never get done so there now if I happen to find more butterflies along the way or more cats I might just go ahead and stick them on that paper Let's see what else I have. Oh yeah, I found this image of this Coke bottle, which is too big for the book, but, but, I think I could go ahead and cut, I can cut this part off at the bottom, would be all right. So I just folding the paper, you can see right there about where it 
I need to be cut. And I'm just gonna cut straight to the Coca-Cola name, which everyone can guess is a Coca-Cola bottle. Now this one is thicker paper. So I'm going to use some white glue, some craft glue for this. This glue is old and it's getting kind of lumpy, but it still glues. Here, my old credit card, and smooth it out. There. Now, let's see if I can grab something else. Oh. Yeah, I have this picture. This came from a magazine called, what's the magazine called? It's called, kind of like this girl better than any of them. It's <clears throat> Nostalgia or something like that? I don't, I don't know. But I found a lot of old pictures on it that I liked and I pulled them out. And since Coca-Cola is kind of a nostalgic item, even though we we have it nowadays, nobody buys them in the bottle anymore. And we're gonna go cut this little girl out almost. I'll try not to get this video to be too long. But if it's too long for you, you could always turn the volume off. And put it on fast. I need to cut a little bit more. Maybe this side right here. About that much. Sometimes I watch uh, some crafters like that, you know. Cause it's really nothing that important that I'm saying. <laughs> One day I'll figure out how to do the, the fast speed in voiceover or music for my videos. Okay, I'm going to have it about right now. So, let's see, let me make sure I get this right out right here, get the flowers off, it doesn't look straight. That's more straight. Maybe the flowers are nah. Okay. And I'm just using an old magazine here to glue my items on. So my surface doesn't get all sticky. This one is 
calm. Like, let me see. Also got this one. This is actually the the glue I have in the other little bottle. I just no, it is well stuck on there. Okay, thought I needed extra. got these these have a lot of color in them already so I might put these papers are leftovers from the other pages yep looks good to me This one. And this will separate the busy background from my girl. I'll put it on here and what did I do with my credit card again? Here it is. And my little lady right there. I'm trying to get rid of this paper. Oh, so far I got 21 minutes and 45 seconds. Voila. Now, why is that? Did that happen? Okay, that just folded. 